Now, when this happens, when a bandsaw blade suddenly breaks, it can be inconvenient, as you might not have a spare blade at hand, and also they're not cheap to replace. So in this video, I'm going to share with you how I make up my own custom lengths of bandsaw blade from coils of blade that I simply cut to length and silver solder using a simple jig. I've been using these hard tip blades for decades and the bulk of the metal is soft enough to cut and even break by fatiguing. Importantly, the blade metal is soft enough to go around small diameter bandsaw wheels and actually that in itself is fatiguing if you use too wide a blade as I've done on this tiny Emco Star bandsaw. I just love tools and machines and having small bandsaws set up with narrow blades complements my hefty bandsaw that I use for thicker work. Of course when the blade breaks it's always on the join and you do get a warning as it nicks the guides just before it breaks. So once the length has been carefully copied off the broken blade and cut fractionally over size, I then carefully square off the blade ends on a disc sander and then feather each end ensuring the taper is square on. Uh, this is to get both ends to match perfectly so it might take a couple of tries to get the tapers to match. I guess an extra jig could be mounted onto the sander table to get the exact angle of the taper. I then mount the jig in the vise using a scrap piece behind to prevent the blowtorch scorching the bench. And I carefully insert the blade ensuring the back edges run true on the jig and the feathered edges marry. Take time to get this right. I then fire up the blowtorch and dip my silver solder in the flux whilst heating up the blade. I then stroke the solder onto the blade and underneath it. And there she goes. A screwdriver or similar can be used to press the blade ends slightly apart to ensure the solder runs through. It's a bit of a knack to flow the right amount of solder because you don't want to spend hours filing excess solder down. What you have to do is remember the join should be seamless so the blade runs through the bandsaw guides without any noticeable catching. So I use a small square file and I reverse the blade to smooth the other side. You know the bandsaw is such a fantastic machine that it's really satisfying making up your own blades. And I'd say the jig is good enough to handle up to half inch wide blades. So now to fitting the blade back on my little Emco Star Universal Woodworker. I picked this machine up about a year ago on eBay. I remember them from the 70s. It performs no less than 16 functions. Wow. And I like the bandsaw on it despite its narrow throat. I had to use bits of ash dowel for the blade guides as there weren't any on the machine when I bought it. It's another task on the list. I've got four working bandsaws, so keeping them maintained with razor sharp blades is a must. So that's why you can see a jig like this is invaluable to me. And purchasing the blade in 50 meter coils is so much cheaper. Well, I hope you find this useful. Thanks for watching.